Hello everyone! If you are watching this video right now, it means that I have finally reached 10,000 subscribers, which has basically been my goal for the past year or so, give or take. That was, um, it was probably in, um, November or October that I really kind of started getting interested in YouTube spaces and being like, hey, I kind of want to do that, especially because it's walking distance and everything, that would be really cool to do. And, thanks to you guys, I have finally reached 10,000. So, another thing that I've kind of wanted to do for a while is do a quick video kind of talking about some of my characters, because I kind of have too many, and even in this video I'm not really going to be able to get to all of them. Um, there are some characters that are going to need their own video, there are others that I'm going to kind of go into detail, but they kind of don't need their own video. So, um, I'm kind of just improvising this and trying to see where this goes. My mic also just kind of went into a coma, so this is a different mic, and I'm still kind of annoyed about that, but we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of brute force this and talk about my characters. So I've decided that after trying to talk mainly about the characters' personalities and then mainly talking about the lore, I figured the best thing to really do is just kind of go over the base story and kind of work from there. So, the story is known as Star Life. It's the story of a group of friends after they are sent to a school in outer space, and the, the adventures they have while they're up there. And those three friends that the story mainly focuses around are Ari, Sim, and Gamye. Ari is um, very optimistic, kind of naive. She always wants the best for everyone, and sometimes she doesn't really know how to do that, and sometimes she can kind of make things worse, but she really just wants the best for everyone. Gammy is kind of a goof-off. She just kind of wants to make people laugh, or just make herself laugh. Um, she doesn't always follow along with what everyone else is doing, but she tries to kind of have her own time and have her own fun. Sim is very curious, very inquisitive. He kind of questions everything, and he kind of drives some of the plot just from what he discovers and tries to um, bring his friends into. Um, and so those are the three main of the students. Um, there are some other students that you might have seen. Um, primarily Nort, who's kind of edgy in a cringy way, and Mizra, who's shy and creative. You guys have seen them in some of my videos, but they're not super important at the moment. Um, I probably will need to make a video specifically on Mizra, um, not really Nort. Then we have Warper, who's kind of supposed to be the counselor slash principal of this whole school in outer space, but she's not really qualified. She got the job because the person who was supposed to do it and the substitute were unable to actually get on the spaceship in time, so she's kind of like the understudy in a way. Um, so she kind of doesn't know exactly what she's doing, but she tries pretty hard. We also have Higgs, who's supposed to be the janitor, but kind of doesn't like that job, so he just tries to annoy people and enjoys annoying people. Then we have Lambert, who is very easily annoyed, doesn't have a great sense of humor, tries to take things kind of way too seriously, gets offended really easily, but he does care about people. He just gets very, very angry very easily. We have Entropy, who we're not going to talk about right now. I need to talk a lot more about him more in depth and just why he's the way he is. And that's kind of the main ones. There are some others around that you've seen, like Mirage, who's kind of the person in charge. Like, she's definitely above Warper in terms of who she is, like, within the spaceship and everything. Like, she's kind of in charge. And there is definitely some tension there between um, her and Warper just in terms of how things are run. Like, um, Mirage really tries to micromanage things and Warper tries to just kind of do things her own way and there's some issues there. Higgs likes annoying the crap out of Lambert. There, there's some other things too, but I think basically just for this video I want to make it pretty short. So that's kind of all I'm going to talk about right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that kind of makes sense. I might do a more in-depth video on some characters later, but that's what I have for now. So, thank you guys.